what do you say? Fight the headed out for the day we need some uh, just like random chicken feed nutrients just to make their shells a little harder and we have a bunch of stuff going on today we have a little award ceremony for my husband we're excited so we're gonna continue on keeping you through taking you throughout our day here look at our unpainted door goodness let me try and lock this door and talk to you at the same time. But got my mango happy juice, did a half dose because I don't really need too much of it, but I wanted to get those antibiotics in. So here we go. Come along with us. have some all flock poultry feed the organic was like $60 
right, I'm gonna start on dinner, but we're back from the grocery store. I wanted to show you what we got. I'm gonna try and make it quick here. We have honey wheat bread, two Jackson's avocado sweet potato chips, one white corn, one yellow corn tortilla. We have Chips Ahoy, we have some coffee, we have some of that blue cheese on sale. We have the Jimmy Dean, not my favorite bacon, but that's what he got. Um, we have Kikamon soy sauce, and then the Pinot Grigio by Dark Horse was on sale for $3.82. Mary's Gone are closeout still for $2.80. We got some tuna packets for different items. I don't know, for lunches and such is what I meant to say. We have cucumbers, onions, and, and well, one onion, one cucumber, an orange. We have bananas and then some organic blackberries. We have some organic strawberries. We have avocado. We have half and half. And then we have the good culture cottage cheese. We have cheeses here. And then this was in the closeout. So I'm going to do something with that half and half, but that's a pretty good deal for organic. We have red seedless grapes. We have some coffee, some apples, some whole carrots. The raw shrimp was on for $5. So I was excited to find that it is wild caught. And then we have some of the Duke sausage and my husband got the method, uh, body wash and then we did get some adult beverages my husband course banquet through and through and then I get stem ciders it's really tasty it's uh, from here in Colorado but there's the real dry the hibiscus and the pear the real dry is really good but it's a cider if you've never tried it so yay you guys ready for dad's award ceremony yay yay that was such a fun little award ceremony Millie and I are sitting in the car here but we're waiting on everybody. We didn't want to be loud, huh? We were getting a little fussy. I thought if I brought celery, she'd be okay. But yes, we are just hanging out. Yeah. Waiting for everyone to meet up and then we'll meet you at home. Yep. Careful, don't hit the other one. Okay, hi, we are home now. I am just trying to get this stuff organized this is all i have kind of pushed to the side just getting ready for the move i feel like i should get ahead and starting in this room is the best thing to do so this is our like third bedroom a lot of people ask why the kids you know share a room and it's because the third bedroom is down here in the cold and it's i don't know it just sits here so yeah i use it for storage and i use it uh for when people come visit but uh i'm sorry about the lighting someone said on the other channel that i was the queen of bad lighting and <laughs> some comments like that you know i just you, you gotta laugh i don't know if it was meant to be insulting or just kind of funny because i have that kind of humor so i don't know i try my best but i'm not gonna whip out my ring light just to sit here and talk to you so hope you don't mind but we got back from the award ceremony and I kind of just wanted to say what it was. I mentioned uh, a few months back that we uh, helped a young man in a very troubling time in his life. And, um, you know, I can't go into detail, but he unfortunately uh, was choosing a very unsafe way to leave this earth. And um, Lee was able to talk him out of that decision and was able to you know, uh, save that young man's life. So he got a, a life saving award from the town that he works in. There were two other officers involved, but um, yeah, Lee was able to chat with him. I, I do believe that is Lee's strong point, staying calm in a situation uh, like that. So we're very proud of him. I got very emotional at the ceremony because they showed his body cam footage of the whole, um, scenario which um I, I'm glad that they did that but uh, my kids were in the room so that was a little tricky it was really hard to just like shield their eyes from what was happening there was nothing graphic but there was a lot of questions because it showed a person in a very vulnerable way in a place where they probably shouldn't have been so um yes we've spent the night kind of uh talking with Wilder because he's generally the one who's asking the questions about that scenario and you know without going into too much detail detail for him. So that was a little challenging and emotional in itself. But um, anyways, I am 
again trying to just get this organized but I just placed an order with Amazon we are gonna try some cloth diapering again I of course went down another rabbit hole and I I just can't find a diaper brand that we can afford that is non-toxic and also is a company that supports our moral values because every single commercial I hear about we don't have cable television so you'll have to tell me but every single commercial I hear about you know more companies like you know certain diaper brands are being bought up by those larger conglomerates and I just don't trust them so I'm gonna go for some organic bamboo cloth diapers we've done it before and I just couldn't keep up I'm not saying I'm in like a better place now but I really think I can get the rhythm and I attribute that to happy juice so as long as I stay consistent with my happy juice healing my gut and uh getting my mind right I think you know it will work and I've talked about that in the past but I used to have this cloudy brain fog brain fog and my body would just sit and it would just sit there and I it's like I was stuck in this autopilot and I know a lot of us can relate to that and I couldn't get up and I saw that as I didn't have motivation which in turn made me like super depressed that I wouldn't have motivation to want to take care of myself or my home but I, I don't think my mental capacity was there to be able to get myself up off of that stuck place I literally would sit on the couch and I would sit there for hours I would play with the kids but I wouldn't do what I needed to do just because I, I couldn't my mind was just in this block so I feel like when I started doing happy juice I could really start organizing my thoughts and whenever I was getting cloudy I could just start writing them down so I'm excited I ordered cloth diapers and then I ordered some glass uh, bottles for Millie to start trying different drinks so she drinks from this little sippy cup but it's made from silicone and I'm really just like not a huge fan of all silicone I like when it's uh, a round glass for the kids but I don't really like them like sipping through it so I got some glass bottles for her which I'm very excited about and I also got those cloth diapers and then the inserts come with it but I also like to get to the uh, organic bamboo lining for other messes if you cloth diaper you know you know but I just wanted to get that situated before we went to the store and were tempted to get new diapers there are a bunch of coupons but I really do think this will save us money in the long run and I don't have to worry about any toxins getting into her and that's really where I was out of panic because I just couldn't find anything that we could afford that wasn't toxic. The other thing I wanted to come on and talk about was uh, I think two videos back I posted that I wanted to start you know filming our adventures and filming new things and I still love that idea. I'm totally going to do that but I wanted to sit down and start talking about my why on this channel and my why when I first started was to start a motherhood lifestyle channel that could give other mothers ideas on ways to save money in their household and still live that life that you see on all of the highlight reels on social media and I'm not hating on it you know because uh, social media is a highlight reel but I found myself playing that compare game and then I would unfollow people because I would just get so frustrated and I don't want to be that mother anymore I want to be able to see someone doing something that I perhaps can't attain or perhaps don't agree with and I want to be okay with it because in the end it's not really affecting me in any way sometimes you know it affects me but I I, I want to just be able to coexist with that and be okay so that is why I started the channel just to give ways to save money so yes that could be saving money on groceries on an activity whatever but I still want to keep that content up so I'm going to start including some of those things in my videos just like I did today with my groceries so I hope that's okay and I'm going to close out the vlog here. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world and I will see you later. Bye everyone. You got me dancing in a storm burning everything we know. Dressing up as firefighters. You got me dancing in your store.